大家好，我是 Dom， 欢迎来到哈密巴中文官方频道。以下是我的免责声明：此演示仅用于教学和教育目的，使用的任何参数仅用于演示。我们的内容不构成任何金融、财务或投资建议。每个用户都要对自己使用和配置哈密巴以及参与流动性挖矿负责。这是我们的第九期节目，主要给大家介绍一下跨交易所做事策略。呃，这期视频我们还是会采用麦克的视频作为素材。那我们开始吧。So cross exchange market making is when you're porting liquidity from a more liquid exchange and giving it to a less liquid exchange. Now, why would you want to do that? Uh, of course, it definitely helps the less liquid exchange.、Uh, but what's interesting is that by doing so, you can also earn an arbitrage profit every time someone trades. And the reason for that is because when you make a market, you're posting offers to buy and sell.、Uh, so if two markets are trading the same asset, you can make a market in the wider market, and then every time you're, a, you're someone buys or someone sells, someone buys from you or someone else sells to you. You go off to the tighter market, and you you put on the opposite trade to hedge your risk,、uh, and then your arbitrage profit is basically the difference between where you're selling and where you're buying, or conversely, where you're selling, where you're buying, and where you're selling.、Um, and so, like all arbitrage strategies,、uh, you want to buy low and sell high.、Uh, so this this strategy is also called mirroring. Sometimes it's called liquidity cloning or exchange remarketing, and.、Uh, You know, we've heard that for a lot of new exchanges,、uh, once they get started and they need to kind of show the the order book depth to attract traders,、um, they run some type of bot like this in order to kind of really bootstrap that order book. So let's walk through how it works using a chart, and then we'll look at what it looks like live. So、um, let's take two exchanges.、Uh, let's say that one of them, uh, perhaps. Um, Uh, DDEX is a decentralized exchange. So, as you may know, decentralized exchanges have less liquidity than centralized exchanges.、Um, so, for instance,、uh, you may have a, a, a trading pair like、um, like Ether and、uh, Tether, so ETH and USDT,、um, you know,、uh, on Binance, and then you, you may also have another ETH market like ETH and then Dai on DDEX. And so, the ETH Dai market is typically much wider. Than the ETH and USDT market on Binance. Now,、um, so if the same asset is trading on both sides, you can basically do cross exchange market making. And so the way that works is that、um, let's imagine that、uh, on DDEX、um, there's some trading pair, and right now it's a pretty wide gap between the lowest buy offers and the highest sell offers. So、um, in this kind of like、uh, contrived example, there's a、um, The, the the lowest sell offers in DDEX are at 104. The highest buy offers are at 96. On Binance,、um, it's a much tighter market.、Uh, here, the, the asset is、uh, the buy offers are at 99. The sell offers are at 101. So in this case, this is a prime example where cross exchange market making might be a good strategy. So let's see how it works. So the first thing you do is you go into DDEX and you you make Two、uh, offers, one a buy, another a sell. So here,、uh, because you know, you know, you can make them、uh, better than the existing market today. So if you place buy offers at 98 and sell offers at 102, all things being equal, when another trader comes onto this market and they buy or sell, they'll probably buy from you because you have the best orders on the book. So let's say that happens.、Um, some order, a trader comes along and fills your 98 dollar. Buy order. At that point, you can go over to Binance, and then, and then do a market order, and in other words, take、um, the the best order on the same side of the book. So in this case,、um, because when someone filled your buy order, you sold to that person on DDEX. So in Binance,、um, you want to. I'm sorry. So, so you you bought from the person on DDEX. So therefore, on Binance, you want to sell at a higher price. So if you、um, you know take this offer here, you've effectively sold the asset at 
therefore your arbitrage profit is simply the difference between where you've bought and where you've sold. Um, and so this is basically cross exchange market making in a nutshell. Uh, you're making a market on a less liquid market, and anytime you're filled, you go off to a more liquid market, and you hedge your risk. And if you have a have a bot that can adjust the prices at which you're making markets, and then when you get filled, the bot automatically goes and hedges your risk on a taker exchange. Um, this can be quite a quite a you know it's a relatively safe strategy, and but one that uh, you know you can profit uh, self profit from. So before we go into um, you know really showing you how the strategy works in live, let's talk about some of the risks of this strategy. Um, the first risk is that with any type of kind of like cross exchange strategy, transaction costs always become a bigger factor. The reason is because if you're not just making one trade here, you're making two trades. One on the, the less liquid exchange and another one to hedge your risk on the more liquid exchange. And so the, you know, like, so fees become a larger and larger part. Uh, and so you have to be careful to factor in fees because the you know um, you know because you're paying fees on both sides, it can actually uh, add up. So in our strategies, we we make sure that when you say you want to make a profit of you know like a, something like um, 0.1%, uh, we try to look at the fees in every market to make sure that the expected profit is you know 0.1% net of fees. The second risk you may incur is that you might miss uh, an order. So what that means is, let's say you make a market on DDAX, you're still making it at 98, and you believe you can hedge yourself if you get filled at 99. But what if, um, you know, as soon as someone comes and buys you, you know, or, or um, lifts your, your buy offer at 98, you go off to Binance, but maybe the Binance market has moved, and now the, the best price on, on Binance is no longer 99, but it's 97. Um, and so there's that risk that you, you might kind of like miss a trade uh, because you thought you could hedge your you could you hedge your order and Binance at one one price, but because the market moved, you couldn't anymore. You end up making a loss on that trade. Um, this does happen, and so um, I would say this strategy isn't is and like all trading strategies, is not a guaranteed profit maker. Uh, you know, you do take risk, but the idea here is to put yourself in the best position to make a positive profit on each trade. Um, and so, more likely than not, hopefully, over time, you, you make you make money on more than half your trades, uh, and over time, your P&L accumulates. Now, the third risk I want to talk about is, the, as a market maker, you're always dependent on taker volume. So what that means is, uh, just because you make a market on a less liquid exchange, and you, you're able to hedge your risk on a more liquid exchange, it doesn't mean you're actually going to trade, because you're still depending on people coming to that less liquid venue and still in trading um, and, you know, and issuing trades. So one thing to look at is the, the transaction volume on your maker exchange. If a, if a market doesn't trade at all, um, you know, you might, you might be the best offers on the market, but you still might never actually do a trade and, and make money. So those are probably the, the three main risks with this strategy. So now let's um, take a look at how you can do this in. <laughs>